Hey, this is the pizza here, and I'm going to be doing a playthrough of the Fear 2 demo. Yes, I know this came out a very long time ago, and I don't care. Uh, playing it on hard, most definitely. I did play this a while back on my PS3, but I've since forgotten. And actually, one thing that's nice right now is it actually set my monitor to 16 by 9 resolution. So hopefully, hopefully, I won't have to stretch or shrink the... Her name is Alma. Let me just shut up for a second. She was eight years old the last time she stood in sunlight. In her life, she has known nothing but pain. It is the way of men to make monsters. It is the nature of monsters to destroy their makers. That was a quote from the first game. Alright. So let's hope it runs smooth with Fraps running. Uh, I did a performance check before I started this to make sure that it would run smooth. Uh, doesn't appear I can lean left or right anymore. Alright, it's running at at least 30. Just decent, decent, very good. Contradicting myself by saying decent and very good. Starting off in the pseudo world, I guess, created by Alma. That we experienced near the end of the last game. So, I think this is the same guy. I would think it's the same guy because uh, the last game we ended up in the helicopter. Spoiler alert with Alma. Uh, fire, fire. Ah. Hmm. Replica activity. No one's ever going to read these, let's face it. Alright. Now, as you can tell, the visual style has uh, actually clear. changed a little bit. Hold your position. It's no longer as... I don't know how to say it. It definitely has a different visual style. What was melee? Just let it be right. Okay, good. Uh... Boop! I heard something. No, you didn't. Okay, so shift to still zoom in. There is no slow-mo yet. Concerns me. Oh god! Oh, there's slow-mo. Boom! Alright, controls actually feel quite tight, and I see my slow-mo meter right there on the side. I'm actually able to hear the enemies a little bit better now. Their footsteps seem to be uh, a little bit louder. I'm not sure about the new style. Like the whole. Like when I play this on my PS3, I have a very small screen, so I really couldn't experience much. Uh, right now I'm actually liking it. The controls feel very nice, just like in the first game. Um, running very smooth, which I love. Despite the improvement in graphics, it's still running very smooth. Uh, which means they actually did do a decent job with the uh, programming on the PC front, and the PC was probably their main pro uh, platform for this game, if I had to guess. It was released on 360 and PS3, and of course I'm going to use the shotgun. Okay, aiming down the sight. Uh, I'm not sure if I have regenerating health right now. Uh, we'll find that out, I guess. Okay, F is flashlight now. Oh, well, I guess not, because here's a health pack. Nice to see those health packs back. Huh, little kitty stand. How nice. Eh, seen it before. <laughs> 
Oh, is that a head? <laughs> Dude, worst swirly ever. Uh, very nice, very nice. Loving the scares already. And there actually were two expansion packs to the original Fear. Uh, fear Extraction Point and Fear Perseus Mandate. I think there's a little bit of slowdown there, most likely due to checkpoint. Took my baby! If you remember that from the last game. Huh. Yeah, so, like I was saying, controls feel nice. Uh, the crosshair is all oblong. He's crying. He's a shut up kid. Okay. How's my flashlight flickering? Ah, jeez, there goes my headset. Hang on. Ooh, okay. That made it even more frightening because I was deafened by the noise of my headset. What am I stuck on? Trash can. Get- let me through the door. Thank you. Now why did that look like Paxton Fettel? He's dead. Okay, that's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, that's me shooting Paxton Fettel at the end of the game. That's great. And there's a uh, Alice Wade being chewed up by Mr. Paxton Fettel, and there's me shooting him, and there's Alma. That's a great right there. That looks like Jesus. Oh, I remember that. There was well, not the specific thing, but there was a there was an uh like a. Don't know how to describe it. There's like a pit full of dead bodies in Fear 1. What's that? Oh, I thought I saw a weapon. Nope. Uh, physics seem to be a little bit improved. The sound design is definitely more... More realistic, I guess? Everything sounds like it should when everything... Sort of had a generic clunk in the first game. Why did I do that? I didn't want to do that. Push it the other way. Or not. That sucks. I want to see the slideshow. Cheating is a bad thing. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. What? Hang on a sec. Whoa, hey, oh, oh, he can actually hurt? I don't know, he can actually hurt. That's mean. Okay, so my reticle turns right apparently when I'm selected over an enemy. I'm trying to figure out exactly what weapons I got. Uh, so it looks like I just have. Submachine gun and shotgun. Probably went for a two weapon build. Rather than the three weapons that they had in the last one. I don't know what these are, but uh. Just shoot them while you can. Did he get penetrated? Very nice. Lots of dead bodies. Random exploding dead body. A 
little weirded out by this, not gonna lie. Okay, I'm really weirded out by this. Now, oh jeez. That was Alma. I know her when I see her. Yeah, controls feel very nice. I like it. Jesus Christ. Um, Z for health pack still? Yep. Yes, more health, more health. Give me the health, give me the health, give me the health. Helpful? What? Okay, it's one of those spirits was definitely Alma. Let me through. Let me through. Thank you. Stay away from her. She's mine. Oh, this was the guy that was uh, saying he heard voices. He's gonna die. <laughs> Well, that wasn't hard to call. They're already dead. Isn't this how the first game started out? Locate person that's probably already dead. Hey, look, there's a skeleton. Why are they telling me how to use my flashlight now? They really think I wouldn't have used it in any of those very dark rooms? Did anyone else see those foot feet? Uh, up the stairs, or I guess through here. God, friggin' move. Why is there a pickaxe down here? Jeez. Consider it jerks. I actually don't remember this part from uh, the demo I played earlier. Probably another checkpoint. Oh, I'm Beckett. Okay. I'm Beckett, apparently. That's cool. Uh, oh! Jeez! It's a lot more violent than breaking one single board. Nice water effects. Clearly what they're showing off of this scene. Once again, sound design. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, guess I'll go this way. Whee. Reminds me of the Bioshock water, which by the way, I recently bought on Steam. I actually played it once before, but never actually got through it. So, you know, I could play that any time. I actually don't have this game, this is just the demo. I'm hoping to get through it in one session. Shoddy door construction. I wonder if anyone's actually opened a door like that in real life. Like they go to open the door and it just falls apart. Oh god, don't tell me this train's gonna turn into the hallway from the first game. Why do I see a woman's body? Ooh, yes! Grenades! Nice. G to throw grenade? Nice. Uh, let's see if I can not fail at grenades in this game like I did in the first one. Alright, relatively similar grenade arc. And they still explode on contact. Very nice. Kinda seems like the gore's been toned down a bit. Because he didn't vaporize. The AI is hopefully just as intelligent. Definitely lessen the recoil on the guns. They added hit markers. Don't know why. I don't know why you put hit markers in a single player. This doesn't make sense. A little bit of interactivity with the environment, though, doesn't really help much.
Okay, wait, can I carry three weapons? Two, three. Yes, I can. Sweet. That's what I like to see. Uh oh. Shotgun. Never mind. Gore's still here. <laughs> that was very nice. That even looked better than the first game. Reminds me of the difference between uh, Left 4 Dead 1 and Left 4 Dead 2 pipe bombs. Like in Left 4 Dead 1, when you threw a pipe bomb, the zombies just exploded into a red mist. Like when you hit someone with a direct impact in Fear 1. In Left 4 Dead 2, they exploded into meaty chunks that flew everywhere. Like in this game. I make these kind of connections. Oh jeez! I think I had a minor heart attack. <laughs> this is I, mean, I keep trying to press F to open stuff. Checkpoint. For the most part, it's running really smooth. I'm going after. I'm liking it. <laughs> uh, that's great. See, the gore stuff doesn't really scare me anymore after Fear One. It's the actual psychological stuff that scares me. Whoa, hey! What you doing here, buddy? See, look at that. Ooh. Wait, can I carry four? Yes! I can carry four. Oh, whoops. Boom! I think I just exploded a dude's head. That's great. I'm liking that. <laughs> it's like you want to get exploded. I think I move slower with the sniper rifle. Boom! Wait, press what to open? Open what? Tell me to open something. I don't know. So it looks like the health and armor system is a little different. Being that you will lose all of your armor before you start losing health. weapon in each slot. A little bit of slowdown here and there. Ooh! Never mind. I just lost all my health with one shot. Very nice. A little bit of difficulty. Gotta take out that sniper. I think he had a bead on me. Alright, so starting back here. So let me actually move back here. What are you doing? Well, this good old-fashioned sniper rifle. Wow, the accuracy really doesn't decrease much when you're moving. Look at that.
There we go. Alright, so no jump shots here. Unless I can get a sick no scope. Hardly any scope sway. There wasn't really any definitive sniper rifle in Fear One. Oh, they're telling me to open the car door and use it for cover. Not really useful right now. Aw, his body just disappeared. I have no idea what settings I'm running this at, I just let it auto detect. Seems to be running well, so very nice job with your auto check. Oh, how did I miss? Okay, that's bull. You're gonna get it now, buddy. Oh, shoot! Dang! I don't have any health packs. So your health refills to a certain margin. Not see that one coming. Neither did he. I only pulled the assault rifle. Did something big just come through that door? Seems a little bit more fast paced. Nice. Uh, medical injector. I'll swap it out for a laser. Cool. You know what's about to happen. Let's step through the screen. Aww. Didn't even give me a chance to step through the screen. Into the life of Alma Wade. Whoa, okay. I don't want to step through the screen anymore. <laughs> this rendezvous God. Is that a grenade? Jesus. I'm hearing voices from inside this building. Goliath from Starcraft. Do I have missiles? I still have slow-mo, don't I? Oh, yes I do! Oh no, I don't have slime. He was on fire! Okay, so it looks like my mech, my mech's shield recharge over time.
blow everything up. Uh, overheating the cannons. Why don't they have slow mo when they're hitting that? This would be so much fun. Signs, man. Let my mech shields recharge. <laughs> you dare challenge me? The audacity. Oh, crap. The audacity! Get back here, I want to crush you! Just cuts everyone in half. Whoa. Oh, hello. Seriously, how do I fire the missiles? Oh, that's where the demo ends. I didn't even learn how to fire the missiles. Let's see what this game has to offer little montage I look like an automatic grenade launcher hmm hmm that was pretty good I enjoyed the demo. I actually enjoyed it more than I remember when I played on my PS3. Oh, I hope it doesn't use games for Windows Live. That's a horrible service. I'm sorry to Microsoft, but it is. That was on hard, right? Let me see what settings I was at. Uh, full violence, auto swap weapon, toggle crouch, difficulty is now set to easy. Okay. <laughs> Performance. Uh, uh, let's see what advanced settings says. I just want to see what I was on. So I was on roughly medium with maximum texture level. Um, maximum light detail and shadow. So I was on like medium high settings. And it ran very smoothly. So that was my demo of Fear 2. Project Origin. Hope you enjoyed it, and I guess we'll have to wait and see if I ever get around to playing this game. And if I do, I will definitely do a first-time playthrough. We'll see you next time.